I want to get to at least 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. I've not even cracked 50. I think I'm on, I'm on 46. We did it. We just hit the first major milestone for this channel of 1,000 subscribers. Here's 50 people in a room, and then here's 100 people. Now 150, 250, 500, and here's the 1,000 of you guys who subscribe to see new videos. It's taken 91 videos to get here, but it's finally happened. Here's me just one year ago getting my very first organic subscriber. Guys, it's a big moment. I just got my second subscriber. That's actually my first organic subscriber because the first one was just one of my friends. 11 videos into it. Thank you to whoever you are. I made some pretty awful videos when I was first getting started, but those videos had to be made to get things rolling. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I filmed my very first video just in my car with my phone. No fancy camera, no external microphone, no lighting. So Manchester, you can get a house easily for a hundred thousand pounds, but if it goes anything like London. I filmed my next few videos in my car as well because I was just too embarrassed to film even in my own apartment where other people could hear me speaking while I was filming. Um, with a relatively low level of risk. I saw new YouTube channels that had just started getting hundreds of thousands of subscribers within the first few months. Meanwhile, I'm over here getting one, maybe two subscribers a week for months on end after I just started my channel. And I was thinking, man, is this thing ever going to take off? A thousand subscribers seemed a million miles away, but I never gave up. I just kept making the best videos that I could possibly make at the time, given my equipment and my knowledge of video making. I want to show you around one of my two rent to rent service department units. After six months, I'd barely cracked a hundred subscribers. I moved back in with my parents around that time because I didn't really need to live in a place on my own and I also didn't have that much income coming in. So I found a consistent place to film, just a little bit of white wall in my bedroom this wall right here, I decided to start taking YouTube a bit more seriously. So I bought some lights and a good microphone. I redid my channel's branding to have this red theme that you now see. And I started putting out videos more consistently. At first it was one a week and now two a week. I made videos to help people stop gambling. When I was 18, I'm 23 now, I gambled away what was a very large amount of money for me at the time. I made videos about making and investing money. I made the decision last month in October 2020 to start investing in Bitcoin. I did a handful of collaborations with other YouTubers. The value of all my assets, say 20-ish million. And now we've hit that 1,000 subscriber goal that I set myself one year ago. I literally couldn't have done it without you because you were the guys who were watching the videos. So thank you so much, all of you. I really can't emphasize enough the significance of this. It's the point where the channel becomes monetized from the ads that are showing on the videos. That money means that I can now reinvest into the channel to make even better videos for you guys to watch. I'll eventually be able to afford to hire an editor. I edit all of my videos myself at the moment and each one takes a full day to edit, about 10 hours of focused work. I ran the numbers and that works out at about a thousand hours per year that I spend editing these videos, almost 20% of my waking hours. So by subscribing, you've gifted me back that 20% of my waking life. 1,000 subs is one milestone on the road to building something great that will one day hopefully help millions of people. I've got big things planned for this channel, so subscribe if you're not subscribed already. This is Debt to Millionaire. Thanks for 1k.